Hi, I'm Swizzets. Welcome to React for Data Visualization. People buy this course for a lot of different reasons. Some want to expand their career, some want to get started with React and want to learn with something more interesting than to-do examples. A lot of people just want to learn something new and interesting, like data visualization is an up-and-coming field. There's a lot more data science going on. A lot of companies are using data visualization as their main thing. And some people are just looking to fill gaps in their React knowledge or in their D3 knowledge, or they're just tired of copy pasting examples without understanding what they mean. So here's how this course is going to work. I've designed this course for people just like you. It's supposed to be for people who are busy, who don't have time, who get bored. Well, bored is a bad word, but pe for people who get distracted very easily. I've been working on this course for the last almost four years. There's been many different versions that came out. Something like 2,100 people have already taken different types of this content. And I've, it's evolved over time. React has evolved over time. D3 has evolved over time. And my teaching style has evolved over time. And what I've, one thing I've learned is that a lot of people start these online courses and these books on programming, but they very rarely finish them. So the way I designed this course is that you don't actually have to finish it. You will get most of the benefit from just one hour with this content. In the first hour, you're going to learn all the basics of integrating React in D3. You're going to learn the basics of D3. You're going to learn the basics of React. And you will get a better idea of how they work together. So that's the first hour. You're going to build a couple of examples, play around with Code Sandbox, and you will know most of what you need to know to go off and build your own projects work on your own work projects or build products or whatever you want to do with this content or with this knowledge really. And it's all designed to work with five minutes at a time. If you have five minutes of time in your day where you can spend it learning something new, this is the course for you. If you, you can also, you know, if you have a lot of time, if you're a student or if you're in a coding bootcamp or something like that and you just have a lot of time on your hands, you can go blaze through the whole thing in a couple of hours. I think two, maybe three afternoons is totally reasonable. There's about eight to 10 hours of content in total. Everything comes with video, comes with um, written descriptions. So if you're a reading person, this is the course for you because everything is written. It was originally a book, so the course is adapted from a book. I will give you PDFs as well so that if you like, you can take them out and you can use it as a book. But the PDFs, the reason I'm not doing PDFs anymore is because the content wasn't interactive enough and I wasn't able to embed code sandboxes and things like that uh, and emojis. I mean, you got to have emojis, right? So that's how the course is designed. It's in small chunks. Um, every chunk comes with a two, two to five minute video. You can watch me do stuff, you can watch me explain things, or you can read about it and play it all out in your head if you're the, the reading kind of person. And you can do it with five minutes at a time. You, will, you can take five minutes, do a little project, get, make a few steps, learn some stuff, and then get on with your day. Or you can blaze through everything, watch it all together. It all ties together. If you watch the videos in sequence, they all play one into another. There's no... We're not going through an introduction every time. There's no outro every time. It's just video, video, video. You can go as fast as you want or as slow as you'd like. Um, this also makes everything a lot more searchable. So if each video is focused on a specific concept so that you don't have to spend a lot of time searching through videos to figure out where you've left off or where I'm explaining something specific. Every video explains only one specific thing and doesn't go into anything else. So it's very easy for you to be focused and it's very easy for you to just, you know, to, um, it, it, it kind of solves the problem I've always had with video courses where you get this 20 minute video and you're, you want to skip through a concept because you already know it or you just, don't want to learn about that right now, you have a specific problem you want to solve, well, that's how my course is designed. It's designed for people who want to solve specific problems, for people who already know some stuff, or, I mean, it's going to work well even if you don't know anything yet, but if you already know some stuff, it's very easy to skip that and just go to the sections that you're interested in. So if you already know all the basics and you just want to learn some cool animation techniques, Go right ahead, jump to the animation chapter, play with cool animations and just build animation stuff. 
if you want to deal with large data sets and figure out how to parse data, how to, um, how to combine different data sets together, jump to the data set chapter. There's a chapter where we take 170,000 data, uh, data points and turn them into a visualization dashboard. If you just care about, I don't know, about Canvas or I'm adding a chapter on WebGL by the end of the year, if you just care about that, jump to that, do that stuff. You don't, the point is that you don't need to, you don't need to take my course in sequence. It's designed for you to jump around and make it and adapt it to you and your problems, the stuff that you're doing. And it's great for just coming back later. If you've taken the course in the past or if you've read a version of React ND3 from some anywhere in the past three or four years, you can g jump into this course, jump over the old stuff or anything that you've already seen. But honestly, React has changed a lot and this course is adapted to modern React. So if you want to learn new stuff or if you just want to brush up on your knowledge, this is the perfect course for you.